India needs to be alert about Pakistan at all times, says Prime Minister Narendra Modi in an interview to a private television channel. He says world acknowledges the losses suffered by India due to terrorism and appreciates India's stand on terrorism in one voice. Government is working to make sure that black money is not generated in India and does not go out of India. Speaking about inflation, Prime Minister says government has taken several steps to control price rise. Prime Minister Narendra Modi released a book titled The Birds of Bunny Grassland in New Delhi today. The book was presented to the Prime Minister by the scientists of Gujarat Institute of Desert Ecology. The book is a compilation of the research work relating to more than 250 species of birds found in Bunny area of Kutch in Gujarat. In Jammu and Kashmir, a top Hezbul Mujahideen terrorist killed in an encounter with security forces in Kupwara. Encounter that began early morning when army and police launched a joint search operation after an input about presence of terrorists in the Nagri Dragmulla area has ended. The three-member team set up by the Home Ministry will visit Jammu and Kashmir today in the wake of recent attacks on the CRPF convoy. The team will look into the issues of possible increase in cross-border infiltration and the practices and procedures being followed by the CRPF during movement of their convoys. Uttar Pradesh Special Task Force has arrested the prime accused of NIA officer Tanzil Mahmud murder case Munir. NIA and other agencies will question Munir in connection with the murder case. Tanzil Ahmed was gunned down by armed assailants in Bijnor district in Uttar Pradesh on the night of April 2nd. Union HRD Minister Smriti Irani today attended the fourth convocation ceremony of IISER Kolkata. Addressing the function, the minister said that for the first time, government has allowed institutional tie-up with foreign institutions for degree programs for students across India. Newly elected members of Rajya Sabha today took oath in the presence of Vice President and Rajya Sabha Chairman Hamid Ansari. The members include Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu, V.V. Reddy, Purushottam Rupala, Lakshmi Kant Rao and D. Srinivas. Union Minister of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj, Birinder Singh, today emphasized that panchayats can change the infrastructure of the village in five years with the government allocating a huge amount for it in the budget. He was addressing a national conference of state Panchayat Raj ministers in New Delhi. Addressing a workshop in New Delhi, Union Environment, Forests and Climate Change Minister Prakash Javadekar said that government has taken various steps for transparency in governance. Some of the steps include coal auction, 2G auction and passage of mining auction bill. Government has also adopted same process for sand mining. Delhi witnessed rains but city dwellers still have to wait for some time for monsoon. The meteorological department has said that monsoon will come in Delhi in next two to three days. UK's vote to leave the European Union sends fresh shockwaves through financial markets. Pound continues to fall. The United Kingdom has lost its top AAA credit rating from ratings agency SNP following the country's Brexit vote last week. David Cameron would meet European Union leaders for the first time since the UK voted to leave. The British Prime Minister will discuss the implications of the Brexit vote and the way ahead at an EU summit in Brussels. A wave of suicide bombings targeting Yemeni troops killed at least 42 people in the southeastern city of Mukalla in attacks claimed by the Islamic State group. Defending champion Novak Djokovic started his campaign at Wimbledon on a winning note. Djokovic beat Britain's James Wade while Roger Federer reached second round. Venus Williams moved to second round after defeating Croatia's Dona Vekic. In Euro 2016, Italy knocked out two-time defending champion Spain, defeating Spain 2-0, while Iceland pulled off one of the biggest shocks in European Championship history when they stunned England 2-1 in their last 16 clash on Monday.